Hi Taurus, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your October 2nd through October 8th weekly love reading. This may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. This is for the sign of Taurus. I have pre-shuffled these three decks for you. I'm just going to shuffle a little bit more. Looks like a really good week, a really good week, Taurus. I'm going to zoom that in right to be in the middle of the reading. The basis of your reading is the Ten of Cups. It looks like there's a lot of happiness this week. If there was any strife or if there was any arguing or if there was any sadness, this week looks like it's looking up, like you might be feeling really good and happy this week. I'm going to zoom that in and then I'm going to go much more into depth. Okay, so, yeah, Ten of Cups, basis of your reading. Beautiful, all right? Um, I think things are probably in alignment at this time. It looks like that we have a commitment here. Some of you guys could be your love life, could be moving up another level, you know, a level of commitment. Or you could meet somebody at a gathering. I do see a new partnership or something new on a physical level. It could be, you know, a new home. It could be something new on a physical level, such as a could be a new car something big big on a physical level a level a partner is something big okay so I do see something new um, this week you could be thinking about buying something new or something something could be given to you you could even have a gift again it could be a partner we have a lot of excitement that first card is the page of wands it's like um, feeling like you can do anything this week you know I am ready to go all right and I just feel like you're celebrating maybe you're celebrating love or you're celebrating you know um, a commitment somebody else's commitment it looks like there's a celebration okay of something uh, we do have uh, Pisces Cancer Scorpio the Knight of Cups right up there somebody could offer be offering you some emotional support you know, and, you know, hopefully you are open to it because right here we have this miss op missed opportunity in love. So either somebody's not accepting love or they're not seeing the opportunity. I don't know what it is, but this will resonate with you however it fits. Um, somebody is not getting or giving the attention, put it that way, that they desire or that the other person desires. Um, so just beware. There's a lot of, somebody's ignoring it. Somebody's ignoring affection from another person. There could even, I mean, for some of you, I have to tell you that there could be another person involved. You could have, a, maybe you have a choice between two people or your partner has a choice between two people. Okay. But somebody is ignoring it. All right. Um, we do have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here a couple times, when and we have Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius a couple times. So, I don't know. It looks like there's some truth that is going to come out, or has come out, and maybe there's even some impulsiveness this week, all right? Because we have some impulsive behavior. Now, this could be from this person, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or it could be from you. All right, but I do see some impulsive behavior. Um, they're even, I mean, this right here, this is like a relationship, but it is a completion. And this is for hundreds and thousands of people. So there could be a completion of a relationship where you move to another level. So some of you could be moving out of a relationship. All right, because you're not getting the, the love. There wasn't, there's no interest anymore. And that could be with you or the other person. It could be vice versa. All right. But it leads, whatever this is, 
this there's a purpose for everything and with this world card right here it says that a new chapter is going to begin a major new beginning it's a completion right underneath this ten right underneath this ten of cups which is ten of love or ten of emotion or ten of attachment okay so it's a completion and this is a completion too so uh, you could be moving from one phase to another okay from one phase of love to another it could be you're getting married or a relationship could be ending however it resonates with you but it does lead to your wishes being fulfilled okay it does because we have the world card right next to this it does lead to the right outcome all right um, this is not to quit don't quit keep moving forward all right slow and steady wins the race just keep moving don't look back keep going all right have faith maybe it's time to build a new foundation all right you're just at the beginning of something so I see that you're about to start something new from the beginning all right and it's gonna be risky so I think that you have you know this week maybe it's you know there's a little bit of excitement over a risk that you're about to take and it's like a, a renowned a re a found excitement that's what I'm trying to say you just really barely realized that this can be good this really could work out this could be good you know even though you it has to do with um, maybe losing something else okay so I, I mean there could be a split for some of you okay and I'm saying this because I started a reading already for you guys and it got interrupted and I had some other cards and the eight of cups was one of them and that's a split so there could be a split of some sort um, but let me get the next deck either way the world card says that even though you've reached a finish line it's time to start a new journey Okay, it's time to start new. It's it's very prosperous. It's successful. That was that was a major part of your life that is now over, and it's time to start a new one. All right, and it leads to your wishes being fulfilled. You may need time to rest and relax. Okay, you may need time to rejuvenate your soul and do some soul searching. You may need some time to go within and just heal from whatever this is, this truth that you've learned. Because you can't ignore it anymore, even though you, at first, you were trying to ignore it. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. There's definitely some action here, okay, where this is an active week where you're probably moving from one state of mind to another. And this is you. This is the Queen of Pentacles. This is the Hermetic Tarot. I've had this. This is like the second deck I bought, but I just don't use it very much. Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. So this is, okay, so this is really good. All right, already this is you, and this is a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, you know. And this is... Um, a relationship so a lot of this has to do with a relationship all right and this is a so you so this is basically telling me that a lot of this is to do with a relationship this week it's not really a money reading it's a relationship you may be there may be a new partner on your horizon or a new partner on your spouse's horizon okay that's more exciting all right now this is the week of October 2nd to October 8th the seven of wands this is um, I'm going to get the rest of them. Battling. Like, but I'm going to get the rest of them because I have a problem with not dealing with cards and talking. We have the Ten of Swords and Death right next to each other. And the Fool, <laughs> you are starting a new journey and the world is underneath. It's absolutely clear and it does lead to a new love. This is the Ace of Cups. So a new love is either here right now or it is coming okay so it is so and it's a it's a new couple it is it's a new couple anyway something's over maybe at this ten of swords I hate to switch gears like this but that's the way it is because it's for hundreds and thousands of people queen and king or queen and knight of pentacles I thought it was a king 
um, but it doesn't matter. There's still a couple. Um, this is a separation. It is. I think that you guys, I think there's, there's a separation here for many of you. All right. But it leads to love. It leads to love. I mean, so we have this Ace of Cups over here. There could be a resurgence of a relationship for some of you. If there was any strife in the relationship or any discontentment, that could be over now. Things could be smoothing out this week. Okay? Um, I see you starting fresh. Okay? Starting absolutely fresh. Um, because there's been too many battles. It looks like you've had your head been walking on eggshells. All right? There's been too many battles. You've been walking on eggshells or feeling like you're walking on eggshells. And it's been a never-ending battle. And it's not going anywhere. And you've been fe feeling like sick to your stomach over this. And and the truth of the matter is, is you can't ignore it anymore. Because the ignoring is right here. Because these this Denosaurus next to this death card is something is has ended. And it is time for you to have faith and trust in the future. And to change. Change is, is here. Okay? With the world and the death. And these two tens, completions, you can only, in the fool, it's it's beginning. A major new beginning is right ahead of you, okay? Transformation, big change, destiny, okay? Then this says land of ruin. It's over. I think there's a split. And if it, you got, if you're if you've already been split for a long time, you may not have let go of this split in your head. Okay. There's new love, so you know there could and maybe it's a thought that's been killing your relationship. You have to see how this works out for you, but something is over so that you can start anew. And there's going to be a lot of excitement and attraction with this with this. With these fire signs okay there is it leads to your wishes being fulfilled it leads to you brings you that much closer to your life's purpose with this world card all right something big is in front of you a new chapter celebrate your success Definitely have some major completions. This is a week of uh, transformation. All right. Big things are happening. Appreciate this moment. I am going to zoom that in. I'm going to try to keep these as short as possible. Number 33, your prayers have been heard when you see 333. Three, three. The prayers have been heard. Appreciate this moment, 33. Appreciate this moment. Each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love. Sometimes there are circumstances that seem challenging and don't make any sense at this time. It is important that you face what is happening so that you can learn the lessons that are being taught here. Ask the angels to show you what is important in this moment. Exactly. I see that you are about to start a new wonderful chapter and this week is prominent in that new chapter. I think it's a change of perspective, looking at something from a new perspective and just taking a leap of faith. Okay, that's what I have. Talk to you later, Taurus.